What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure San Diego Comic-Con news as we get into it. Not only that, guys, I do want to go ahead and break down my list of what I want to personally see at San Diego Comic-Con. You guys know we're going to do a Comic-Con at home this year. San Diego Comic-Con was canceled, and we do now know that there's going to be some more information about the start of it. I have it right here for you guys. You guys can see Action Figure Attack on Twitter. He says, we're not going to let 2020 go by without a Mattel W. WWE panel. Tune in at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Thursday, July 23rd for our panel, hosted by Not Sam with guests Edge, Johnny Gargano, Candice LeRae, Rhea Ripley, King Ricochet, Bill McKenna, and me, featuring tons of new reveals. Hashtag WWE Elite Squad. So they are going to do the panel on Thursday, July 23rd, and that is where we're going to get all of our reveals, all the render images, all the new figures. Hopefully they showcase the figures not only in render form, but actual photography of, you know, good photographs of the actual figures they have in hand that usually go on display at San Diego Comic Con. Hopefully that will be the case for this, and I can't wait for it, man. But in this video, I not only wanted to announce that, but I also wanted to tell you guys my own personal list of figures that I want to see. I want to see these in render images. I want to see these in full-fledged figure form. These are just figures that I'd personally like. Now, I doubt we get all of these. We may not even get one of these, but I'm just going to give you guys my own personal list. You guys can let me know your personal list down in the comment section below. I'm sure some of you wanted to hear my own list, so I went ahead and made up this list, and I will give you guys exactly what I want to see. And we may not get any of them again. I'm just trying to go off the cusp and give you my own, you know, uh, wants and needs that I would like to see from Mattel going into the end of this year on into 2021. Guys, let's go ahead and start off, guys. The first one that I, I have put this figure on my list so many years in a row now, and it is a 2003 to 2009 Shawn Michaels Elite. We need a Shawn Michaels from this era, from the early 2000s on into the later 2000s, whether it's in the tights from 2003, 2004, or it's in the longer pants from around the end of 04 on to the end of HBK's career when he started rocking the knee braces and the long pants. I don't care. I just want either a white and red attire or a red and black attire. His match with Kurt Angle, his match with Ric Flair from WrestleMania. Doesn't matter to me. I just want a Shawn Michaels Elite in one of those attires. Uh, a newer head sculpt would be beautiful as well. I really want to see a new head sculpt with, uh, you know, the longer hair. True effects technology would look really, really bad AF. Have wristbands on that man. I mean, it could be so nice to see, but, uh, you know, it's just going to depend, I guess. I, I, I doubt it's a priority, you know. I, I highly doubt it's going to be a priority, but that is something I desperately want on my list. Is an 03 to 09 Shawn Michaels, so I want to put that first on my list. Next up, guys, is going to be an updated Kevin Owens. Now, this one's pretty obvious. I'm a big Kevin Owens fan, and I want a Kevin Owens Elite with all of his tattoos, not just the right sleeve, but I'm talking about the right sleeve and the and the dinosaur tattoo from his other arm as well so i want to see an updated kevin owens i know we've gotten basics but we have not gotten an elite since elite series 66 which was around 10 to 12 series ago so hopefully we can get an updated kevin owens whether it's in the main elite line or a different elite line i really want to see an updated kevin owens nice haircut good photo technology in the face good faded type beard thick beard going on Good arms, nice tattoos going down. Maybe white wrist tape would be fine where he returned. Or possibly a WrestleMania 36, you know, Kevin Owens from where he took on Seth Rollins. That'd be pretty cool as well in the KO Mania shirt. Doesn't matter to me. I just want a Kevin Owens with the updated tattoos and the head sculpt. So I went ahead and put Kevin Owens on my list. Next up is another one of my favorite guys, an NXT Finn Balor. So this would be an updated Finn Balor with all his tattoos as well. Maybe, uh, you know, his black with the X's on it, the black attire with the red. Red X's, Valor Club logos, all the good stuff, maybe a cloth jacket from NXT, the sleeves, everything like that. A pissed off head sculpt would be just beautiful for Finn Balor in the NXT gear where he returned to NXT and he was on fire for a while there. And uh, hopefully we can get him back on fire. I really wanted him to win both straps there in NXT, but congratulations to Keith Lee on that. Still enjoyed everything with that. But NXT Finn Balor, that is a must for me. Gotta add it to the Finn Balor shelf. That is something that I really, really want to see. Speaking of Finn Balor, I want to see another Demon Elite figure. So maybe be another demon elite of Finn Balor from one of his matches back in the past. I know we didn't ever get all of them. They probably feel like, you know, they don't have to make them anymore, I guess, because he doesn't do the demon gimmick right now. But that is something that I really want to see. I want to see 
a demon battler, whether it be one, I, I guess just any that we haven't gotten so far. I can't really think of any off the cusp. But another demon Finn Balor is something that I really, really, really want to see from Mattel. They always do a good job on those, and I really want to see another one. You know, ripped up torso, don't give it to me if you can't give it to me in the ripped up torso, but I do want to see another demon Finn Balor. And preferably, I think a SummerSlam 2017 where he took on Bray Wyatt, I think that would be a really good one to do with the tongue down the, the center of the chest there. Uh, that's a really good one with the long teeth design. But um, that is another thing I want to see, another Demon Finn Balor. Next up, guys, is very interesting. We have Ultimate Edition 8. Now, this is something we'll probably see in render images. You guys know that Ultimate Edition Series 7 is going to be The Fiend and Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Very big deal right there with the Ultimate Editions. I think that is... That is two of the probably most sought-after figures ever coming in one set. So Ultimate Edition Series 7 is going to be very tough to beat. But I have here, you know, just renders of Ultimate Edition Series 8, which will be the series following. Charlotte and Rock are Series 6. Fiend and Hogan are Series 7. And Series 8, I have it here. Maybe we could get Seth Rollins and Undertaker. We could get Roman Reigns and Undertaker. Or possibly we could get Jeff Hardy and Undertaker. You guys know that they like to do a, you know, a current talent. And then they like to do like a legend talent. So Seth Rollins would fit that. Undertaker fits in the legend talent perfectly. I think that, you know, they've made The Rock. They've made everybody else pretty much in the legends. I know that we're still waiting on our Ric Flair. So Ric Flair probably will end up being in Series 8 unless, you know, he got pushed back. So I could see Series 8 including Ric Flair. I could see Series 8 including Stone Cold Steve Austin. Or I could see Series 8 including The Undertaker. It will definitely be one of those three. But hopefully I just want render images of upcoming Ultimate Edition Series 8. And whether it be Seth, Roman, Jeff Hardy... Uh, any of those guys, I really can't think of another top talent that's current right now that they would probably put right there. Maybe an AJ Styles would be pretty cool, but um, that is something that I really want to see. So Ultimate Edition Series 8 with Undertaker and a current star. Uh, my picks would probably be Rollins, Roman, or Hardy, but I guess we'll just have to see about that. Roman, maybe not because of the, be the vest. But uh, we'll just have to see about that. Next up, guys, is going to be more Hulk Hogan elites. Now, you guys know that we didn't get Hulk Hogan figures for a really long time there. He took a time away from the company. He's coming back in, and we have, you know, the Ultimate Edition Series 7 Hulk Hogan coming very soon, the Hollywood Hulk Hogan. But I think that since we're getting that figure, they got to be starting to make more Hulk Hogan figures, don't you think? So I'm expecting to see some more Hulk Hogan basics. You guys, if you watched my Defining Moments figure ranking video, if you guys missed that, definitely go check that video out. A lot of you didn't watch it. Definitely go watch that. I talk about the story behind the Hulk Hogan Defining Moments Elite, where I missed out on that figure, and so I really want to see another Hulk Hogan Elite, so I can put that in my collection. So more Hulk Hogan Elites would be very nice to see. More Hulk Hogan Elites. Don't really care what attires. Maybe the classics. Maybe uh, a Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Not only Ultimate Edition, but Elite figure would be nice. And then... Uh, some other things from WCW or WWE, WWE slash F. Maybe some Ruthless Aggression era Hulk Hogan's would be cool as well. But next up is going to be more edges. I think we're going to get more edge elites. You guys know we have the ringside exclusive coming up. There's got to be a, a Royal Rumble return edge, possibly with an entrance coat. I would imagine it's probably going to be a rubber entrance coat. In the, you know, the Royal Rumble return edge, I could see that happening, no doubt about it. That would be really, really cool. That is definitely going to happen. Maybe he'll get a Chase variant figure where it's in the WrestleMania 36 gear where he took on Randy Orton. So, you'll get the Royal Rumble return and then the Chase variant could be the WrestleMania gear in the gray and silver and red. I think that would be sick. Even their match at Backlash, the greatest wrestling match ever, that is an attire that I would really like to see. It was like black with green, camo green and like red and silver. It was a really cool attire. So any attire of a current edge that we would get would be absolutely beautiful. And of course, you do have uh, the throwback edges that we could get. Maybe some moments from his career before he retired would be really cool to see get re-released. Since he's a part of the company, again, I really want to see more edges. And hopefully that is the case uh, before he walks off into the sunset. I know he's going to come back. They're going to fulfill that little uh, rivalry with Randy Orton when he returns from that injury on his tricep. But for now, I do want to get more Edge Elites. And then uh, next up, guys, I just have some some guys that are on the main roster that we do not have in figure form just yet. So guys like that include, you know, Angel Garza, Humberto Carrillo, Austin Theory, any guys like that that we don't have just yet in basic battle pack form. I'm sure we're going to get render images of all those guys. That just makes the most sense to me. I'm sure we'll probably get render images of guys in NXT that we don't have just yet. Probably a Killer Cross, probably, you know, Dexter Loomis, guys like that. 
Not the most pumped about all of those figures, but I still think it's important to clear out our roster. We do need to get our rosters full and, you know, for the predictions videos and stuff of that nature. And I know a lot of people like to have a full roster on their shelf and, you know, to, to play around with, get some good diversity in there. So I think that uh, Garza, Carrillo, Theory, all those guys are definitely going to be made. And if they're not shown off in complete figure form, they'll definitely get some render images. I also, you guys know that we've already been speculating. We've talked about what we're going to see at San Diego Comic Con. This is just my personal list, but we have so many things that we're going to see. It said tons and tons in the Twitter announcement, so uh, or it said tons. So, I mean, that's a lot of figures. I would guess that we're probably going to see 50 figures or so, possibly even more. I'm not sure. I just feel like this is going to be a really big year. I've said it a few times now on the channel. I just feel like this year is going to be bigger than it's ever been, especially with us missing out on Comic-Con. I feel like it's going to have a more special aura around it. There's going to be more announced and stuff, so hopefully that is the case. But I think uh, another figure I'd like to see is probably an updated Rollins or another Murphy in the Monday Night Messiah gear, or you guys know the Disciple gear, whatever you want to call that. That would be a really cool attire and figure to see as well. Maybe a fur coat or something. I don't know. We'll just have to see about that, but... I think that this year's Comic-Con is going to be really special. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to get in all the reveals and reveal them to you guys and talk about them. But um, we already know we're getting a ton of stuff. I expect to see a Kyle O'Reilly Elite, a Bobby Fish Elite. Any figures coming up in the next few, you know, Elite 79, 80, 81, 82... We're going to see those figures in render form or possibly in full prototype fashion on display. And they should give us good images. Stay tuned to Ringside Collectibles. They should be posting them up as well. But we're going to put them all here for you guys. We're going to talk about all of them when they're revealed to us. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Let me know what your personal list of things you want to see at San Diego Comic Con down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.